What's down here? Excuse me. Oh, God. Mm. Hey, uh, this is Pigeon John, and you're watching LBTV. Hey, Samantha. MC, cause it's dope delivery, makes her heart hit her patter on the inside, but she tries to hide, cause you're jealous into you, and your balance is unexpected, like Kelly Clarkson's backside, got some head can roll, yeah, can crash, head can run at the grass, some real trash, picture Johnny on the big mic, draw my Lamborghini, but naked in the middle of the night, with the wings flipped up, cause I'm that high, I like you new jigaboos, dancing on the brick screen, prancing looking greasier, there's some french fries, you take us back a hundred years, every time he smiles with those gold teeth, and those diamonds and those big guys I take seven MCs, put them in a line Grab a straw, sip them up a nose and recline You don't miss six to my world You're on my barn in the drawers That's a better look in the flip time I'm smarter than you, I'm harder than you I'm better than you, I'm just so I'm harder than you, I'm happier than you I'm than you, and God's going to be the one thing I'm smarter than you, I'm harder than you I'm better than you, you know I'm just so I'm harder than you, I'm happier than you This comes from uh, my girl Katie. My question is about the track, The Last Trumpet on Same Shit, Different Day. This is my favorite LB song. What was your motivation for writing this song and what does it mean to you? Well, basically uh, what this song was, was inspired by was a couple years ago, uh, I went out and played in Brazil and uh, this is the first time I had ever played in a foreign country that, that basically wasn't a superpower. You know, I mean, I toured extensively in, in Europe and, and Asia, places like that, but this was definitely one of the, it was the first time that I played in a country that was quote unquote third world, you know what I mean? And uh, it, it was, uh, I was moved, man, I was really moved. I was moved to see that, uh, you know, all the amenities that we have here in America, people don't share elsewhere. And put real simply, if I hadn't gone out there, I would never know because these aren't things that are, are reported on the news and these aren't things that uh, are made common knowledge, you know, people's conditions outside of our own backyard. I mean, it's just not stuff that's made common knowledge. And then I started to realize, you know, by talking to some people out there, um, how certain things that we do here domestically uh, affect uh, other people and other cultures in, in an adverse way, you know what I mean? And I was really moved by that. It was hard to see, you know, little children sleeping on cardboard, you know what I mean? And, and just, and just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, man. And then, you know, we played Rio, we played Sao Paulo, just to see the favelas, you know, and, and just to see that, that, you know, these are the human beings, man, that, that uh, that people kind of just look right through them like they're invisible you know what i'm saying and it just it just made me realize uh in certain ways even though a lot of the situations here aren't tolerable i mean you really got to be happy in thyself you know what i mean and just uh do the best that you can because there's, there's people out there that got it way worse than me I mean, that's for damn sure you know what i mean so uh, it just it just uh, puts a perspective on that, and that's really where the last trumpet came from. Outside the mainstream, I'll be rated falsely painted as endangering the way things work. And the way things are I can't right. believe the things ain't going right. all the wicked seeds we sown and right. poisoned all the earth. It starts us right. can't really act surprised when the harvest has no work. The curse that lurks around the corner is the product of our work.